Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. As much as I loathe this story, I'm going to bring it to you only so that if somebody says it to you, you can immediately say, Oh, I heard all about that. We all know that's all about the spirit of Antichrist. They've taken some bones. Here, let me pull this forward. Where I'm at is now the end begins.com. Supposedly, let me read you the title. One of the things you might very well expect to see as the spirit of Antichrist rises, which it's already risen. I mean, come on, people. We all know Barack Obama is the Antichrist, the Antichrist. It's not just Antichrist spirit, but Trump, Biden, and those who work for him all have the spirit of Antichrist. It's in the world all over the place with this snake venom, the, that's in the beast system. The New World Order is kicking off, and, and it's, it's here. Okay, so anyway, I'll start over. One of the things you might very well expect to see as the spirit of Antichrist rises is the discovery of, quote, uh, the, of the, quote, bones of Jesus, unquote, in Jerusalem. Yeah, right. Like it's 2021, and with all the archaeological digs that have been going on over there for centuries, looking for Noah's Ark, and this and that and the other, and everything that Israeli and Hebrew related they, that they can find, they're just now finding bones. But let's go on. The Bible says that the devil's time is short. <laughs> He only has seven years from start to finish. Uh, that's technically not how, how it is. The devil's been in control since Adam and Eve sinned and got thrown out of the garden. He's had 6,000 years, sent his fallen, or they came, mated with daughters of men, as you know, created Nephilim, caused the earth to get flooded, only Noah, his wife, three daughters, and three son-in-laws survived. Or was three sons and three daughters-in-laws <laughs> survived. But yet one of them, supposedly, it's confusing. I'm not even going to try to explain it. Supposedly had the wrong bloodline. Because supposedly Adam and Eve had sex with Satan. And that was the apple they bit. I, I can't explain it because I don't fully understand it myself. It's all one of those things that we're going to find out when we get there. Okay? And we'll ask them ourselves. Because no doubt they repented and they're in heaven. And I can't wait to tell Eve a thing or two. Yeah, it was her fault we had problems with childbirth and other things every month. All right. Uh, let's see. But when he sits down... All right, so Satan is saying has only seven years from start to finish. You're talking about seven years of great tribulation. That's not how it works. But anyhow, but when he sits down in the rebuilt temple in Jerusalem, at the halfway point, he exposes himself to be the devil. No, he doesn't. The Antichrist is not the devil. The devil gives his power to the beast. The devil is the dragon. Don't these people know their Bible? Okay, you can read it for yourself if you want. I merely wanted you to know that this has been being said so that if your unsaved, lost friends say, oh, well, I, um, I know they found the bones of Jesus in Jerusalem, you can say, oh, I know all about that lie, and you can tell them what you do know. Ignore their Bible teaching in this because they're, they're, they don't have it exactly right, okay? Um, I can't tell you exactly how it's going to come down, but Satan has had way more than seven years to do his dirty work. Okay, let's just leave it at that. And uh, let me just take a snapshot of this and get out of here. The bones of Jesus. Yeah. What a heresy. A heretical lie. Okay. 
with that, I'm going to pull up my camera and say I'll be back soon because I have other stuff to share with you. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.